So, Chuck. Yes. We haven't talked about planets in a long time. This is true. All right? I, I think we're overdue throwing a little extra planet pop culture. Can you recite the planets in order? In order? Yes. You mean like coming from Mercury? Okay. Right? And then Venus, Earth, right? And then uh, Mars going out after that. That's the big one. Uh, mm -hmm. That's Jupiter. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got Neptune behind Jupiter. No. You got Saturn. Oh, I'm sorry. How you going to leave out Saturn? Saturn. God. Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and then, you know. Uranus. Right, Neptune. Uh, Uranus, Neptune. Sorry, mm -hmm. and then no, no, and yeah, we're done. It Neptune. Uranus, Neptune, and then we're done. The planet count over the years has fluctuated. Yes, to the ancients, there were seven planets. I will recite them for you. Okay, Mercury. Okay, Venus. Venus. Mars. Jupiter. Jupiter. Saturn. Saturn. The Sun. The, what? And the Moon. All right. Now I could see the Moon being considered a planet. Because you know it's like no, coming. Because the and definition going. of planet has changed. I can what, in I'm, the day. Yeah. Planet was anything that moved mm -hmm. against the background sky. Okay, so all the other stars are staying kind of where they are. Correct. And the, then what you they have call these the fixed little, stars. Fixed stars. Then you got these little bodies that just kind of wander, size didn't matter. Wander along. Size didn't matter. Okay. Brightness didn't matter. Did didn't you matter. move? Did you move against the background stars? So any satellite. The Greek word for wanderer. Okay. Because these are things that Move. wandered among the background right. stars, right. is planetes. Planetes. Yes. That's very romantic. Yes. Planetes. That's where we get the word planet from. Planetes. And the fact that they use the word wander is evidence they had no clue what was going on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So seven planets. It is not an accident that there's seven days a week. Okay. Each day of the week is named for one of those seven planets. Sunday. <laughs> That's exactly. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. Is named after Sunday. The sun. The sun. Okay. How about Saturday? Sabido y cante. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sabado is different. The, you did that's, that's Spanish. Yes. Okay. Sabado so. is Sabbath. Oh, okay. so it has nothing to do with the planet. No, Sabi I'm talking about English, dude. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. So Saturday. Yeah, so Sunday. It's got to be Saturn. 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 Sunday's the sun. And how about Moon Day? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> moon Day. Yeah, guess what? Moon Day was oh, named after. but now that works in Spanish because it's lunes. Lunes. All right, now what do you do with Tuesday? <laughs> Now, where are you gonna get a planet? <laughs> now, now, okay, now, now you got to do something impressive because you got to you got to come up with a planet. For Tuesday. I will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Planet Mars. Okay. <laughs> okay. So well, now, yeah. Why are you trolling me? Okay. All right. So watch. watch. You just. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to the Romance languages. Okay. What do they call Tuesday? In the Romance language? Yeah. The Lunes Martes. Martes. I know it in Spanish. Martes. 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 It's Mars. Right. Mars. Okay. Okay. All right. There okay. You go. That's cool. So Tuesday. Well, Tuesday doesn't sound like Mars, but there is a Norse god called Tues. Tues. Tues, yes. Right. And this is a god of war. Okay. It's kind of a wimpy name for the god of See war. <laughs> Stand down or Tues. <laughs> Tues will come kick Tews your ass. Tues will come for you. Okay. He <laughs> will come kick the your ass. Tues. <laughs> so we now have Norse mythology joining in on this naming scheme. Right. Okay. But they have corresponding planets, is all I'm saying. Gotcha. So what's next? That's Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. So what's Wednesday in Spanish? Mercoles. Mercoles, right? Which would be Mercury. Right. So Mercury is Oh, where did he go? Mercury. Is the god of what? Um What did he what's he good at? He was a postman. He was moving fast. That's right. He was moving fast. <laughs> and Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. So, and when you're that close, you move fast so you don't right. fall in. Exactly. So Mercury's the fastest moving planet. And the Romans knew this, the Greeks knew this. Right. So Mercoles, Mercury, but it, for us it's Wednesday. Wednesday. So Wednesday, right? Woden. Woden. Woden's day. Nice. Woden's day. Yeah, yeah. And so he's the closest Norse god as a counterpart to Mercury. 
Okay. Okay. So Mercury was a messenger, messenger. god. Woden had some other features about him. Yeah. But it included uh, serving as a as a traveler back and forth to hell, or whatever they called hell. Thursday. We all know who that's named after. What Thurs? Thor. 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 Thor's right. day. It's Thor's day. Thor's day. Thor. Thor wields what? The hammer. Well, the hammer and lightning. Lightning. Right. Okay. Who in Greek mythology wields lightning? Well, Greek and Roman. Okay. Jupiter. Jupiter. Wow. So what is what do we have in 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 the Romance languages? What do we call Thursday? Oh wait, I don't. So, I don't, so, I don't so, know. Lunis, Martis, Miocles, Jueves. Okay, so it begins oh. with J. It's Jupiter. Right. In French. Judy. Oh. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put the hand in the, 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 the Judy. No. <laughs> so there you get Jupiter, right. the corresponding god to Thor. Okay. That okay. makes sense. All right. And what are we left with? Friday. Friday. And that, that's the last day. Uh, mean, that's we, Friday. Last day out Saturn. of the seven. Saturn was Saturday. Okay. So Friday, uh, what's that in Romance languages? Uh, so it, well, again, in Spanish, I know it's Viernes. Viernes, okay. Right. Uh, at, at Venus. Venus. Named for Venus, there the goddess go. of love. love and beauty and all that. Mm. But we've once again drawn from the Norse traditions there. Mm. So that is Frigga. Frigga. Frigga is the goddess of, of beauty. I didn't know in that. Norse legend. The yeah. Norse legend. Sounds yeah, like a member of Wu Tang. <laughs> but I was, Frigga. <laughs> Jigga. Frigga doesn't, doesn't, yeah, Frigga, Jigga, Jizza. <laughs> right. Jizza. Right, right. So uh, Frigga has less sort of poetry for that than I yeah. think Venus. Yes, Venus, know? yes. Venus and beauty go together. Right. right. Yeah, nobody wrote a song about Frigga. Frigga. <laughs> nobody wrote a song about Frigga. Frigga. Uh. So we have this amalgam of words that track those seven days of the week. Okay. And we borrowed from Norse. We have Latin. And some of that Latin we would see in the in the Romance languages, right? And so, but they all track back to the seven, seven planets. The seven planets, correct? Right. Seven yes. planets. Right. And so here's what goes on: we have the seven planets, and Copernicus comes along. Yes. Mid 1500s. Mid 15, and he says, "You people are dumbasses <laughs> because the sun is not a planet. <laughs> we lose the sun and the moon, right, in the planet count." That takes it down to five, but we gain what? Wait, I'm, 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 you're losing me. I'm... Before Copernicus, we had seven planets. Right. All of them moved against the background stars. After Copernicus, we have five. We, we have five because we lost the we sun lost and the moon. The sun and the moon. Okay. Right. But we gain one. Oh, us! Ah! Yes! Exactly. We. <laughs> well, of course, that makes sense. <laughs> we, we gain one. But only to find. That we were the wanderer all along. <laughs> <laughs> so we went from seven to five, back up to six. Right. And there it would remain until William Herschel discovers planet George. Planet George. Yeah. Right. Named it after King George. King George. The George of the American Revolution, George. Oh, okay. That they were contemporaries. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and the rest of the world was going to have none of that. I'm sure. Yeah, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, George. Saturn, and George. Yeah, we ain't right. doing, we ain't playing, we don't play that. <laughs> oh my God, I wish we had kept that. <laughs> Planet, Planet George. Planet George. But that's a whole other conversation, other naming schemes. But yeah. I just wanted to catch you up on the days of the week. There you go. That was awesome. Days of the week explainer. There you go. All right. Seven planets. This has been Star Talk. Yet another explainer. There's a lot out there for, that needs explaining. That's, I love every minute of it. All right. As always, keep looking up. 